So this is probably gonna rustle some feathers. Can underwater video lights be used for underwater photography? Well, yeah. My name's Tom Park and I'm an underwater and adventure filmmaker and photographer specializing in destination marketing content around the ocean. And like many of you, I take a lot of underwater photo and video, more often than not on the same dive. Now I've been shooting underwater content for the best part of the last eight years and there is nothing I hate more than the gear struggle. I own a range of both strobes and video lights. And there are times where I go underwater with a rig looking like this with two strobes and two video lights. And my word, is that a pain. Now we only have a very limited amount of time underwater. And if you, like many of my clients, want both photo and video content from the same dive, having to fiddle with gear and having to fiddle with lights can waste away precious minutes. And in many cases, by the time you swapped over from your strobe to your video light or the other way, you've probably already missed the shot. As underwater photographers, we're constantly dealing with a number of things we don't have to deal with on land, whether that be depth, air, current, tide, swell, usually other divers getting in your shot, or most unpredictably, wildlife. And we don't have long to actually capture that moment before one of these factors changes and ruins the shot. Which is where this question becomes so valuable. Can we use the same light source to capture both photo and video content underwater? And my answer is yes. And over the past two years, I've actually been using these Orca Torch D950V lights for all of my hybrid photo and video shoots and I haven't been taking my strobes underwater at all. And honestly, while technically they may not have the same specs as a pair of strobes for photography, I've found that by worrying less about my gear and changing the lights and changing the light source and rearranging everything after every single shot, that I've been able to spend more time in the precious four or five seconds that we have before the wildlife moves to actually focus on the things that matter, like my composition and actually engaging with the wildlife correctly and calmly to maybe extend that shoot time up to somewhere like 10 seconds, rather than just rushing in to capture the shot before the moment disappears. Now, if you are shooting stills with video lights, you are gonna have to buy strong ones. All of the photos you've been looking at have been shot with these two Orca Torch video lights, which are 10,500 lumens each. And as you can see, they are bright enough to produce great results. Now, you may have noticed that I'm doing a lot of close focus wide angle shots, which means I'm using super wide angle lenses and getting super close to my subject. And with these type of shots, I'm usually only using my strobes when I use them on about half power anyways. So using video lights in these scenarios, I don't actually notice too much of a difference. Now, the way you go about exposing for your shots with strobes or video lights is exactly the same. You're using your camera to expose for the background and the blue water and your foreground lights or your strobes or video lights are used to expose and bring life to your foreground. Technically, strobes do produce a brighter result, but if you are having to alternate between photo and video lights for your different shots, you are having to sacrifice something else, whether that be your composition, correctly approaching the shot, your time underwater, or even accurate positioning of your lights uh, on a rig, something like this, then in my opinion, it's honestly just not worth it. For me, where filmmaking is my primary business, these Orca Torch lights do an incredible job of allowing me to get the best of both worlds without having to sacrifice any of the things we've spoken about and having to worry about carrying around a rig like this. As I said at the start, this has probably rustled some feathers, but I own a heap of strobes and in most of my hybrid shoots over the last two years, I've actually stopped using them and opted for these two Orca Torch lights instead and my results have been far better. If you're after some camera or lighting advice, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. See you next time.